just to just to add to that is um, you know there are some qualities of yours which come out during art and i've been painting since i was a kid mm-hmm. uh you know there's this popular quote which says how you do anything is how you do everything ah uh, yes so if you're a person who would not attempt painting yeah. because you're not good at it yeah. you're likely to not attempt many things in life because you're not good at oh, it oh yes so if you're a person who paints but wants to get everything perfectly right mm. then you're likely to do the same thing in life like you know so. you'd want to get every single thing mm. thing right mm. so it's also a great way to explore and understand your own you know personality in terms of what kind of a person you are and you know yes. many years ago i worked with this girl who was um, who was depressed mm-hmm. and getting her to do some art was a great way to understand what she's like mm. in other areas of her life yeah. and that intervention actually helped get her off a huge dose of her medication into a sort of very minimum dosage wow. yeah so i think i think art certainly helps with that yeah. and at the end of doing a piece of art yeah. there's a feeling of you sort of get something out of your system that contentment that exactly that delight of yeah that delight something. absolutely yeah. it's like george bernard shaw said I write for the same reason that a cow gives milk. <laughs> so you know, if it's inside you, it's just got to come out. Got to come out. Yeah. Yes, that is brilliant. A chapter in your book talks about who is the one person who matters the most to you. Right. And this part of your book struck an instant chord with me mm-hmm. because here you're not only being honest, but mm-hmm. I I think you're also being quite bold about certain hard facts of life to the extent of even questioning aristotle's philosophy right you you state there that you know there could be a possibility of putting yourself first and it's worth exploring that talk about this part of your book where you say that explore put yourself first so uh th- this this idea came to me when i was on a flight okay and uh, they give you instructions about uh, you know uh, keep your seat upright yeah. and you know put your window shades up yeah yeah and one of the things that they tell you is during an emergency you know oxygen masks will fall down put on your own mask before helping others yeah. and i realized that a lot of times uh, you know in life mm. as much as we care about other people mm. uh, I think it's not uh, it's not absolutely normal for people to say yes. that you know I'm going to give myself out yes for others yes so one of the fundamental ideas mm-hmm. behind this is is really to say that look if you care for your family yeah first take care of yourself yes if you care for your community take care of yourself mm-hmm. if you care about giving back to society take care of yourself and if you want to do something for yourself and have a good life then take care of yourself <laughs> you know <laughs> I did think this guilt as as associated with mm. you know am I going to be declared selfish right. and you've also mentioned that in the book correct we should correct. just shun that and it's okay yeah absolutely that. see uh, it it also depends from where you're coming mm. from what your upbringing is because a lot of people uh, and there are communities which have been told that you know you have to be giving and you have to you know think about other people first and love your neighbor and 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 so on and so forth which is fine if that's what you actually want to do mm. and this is an idea which i also bring out in the book saying that you know there is such a thing as you chasing something for the sake of another yeah. which means that you know at the end of the day we are all after certain emotions mm. so whether it's uh, you know the one person yeah. and the reason you care about that one person whether it's your life partner or your mother or your yeah, child is because you know that person gives you happiness yes. or that person gives you security or that person gives you joy mm. so in the end we are all after certain emotions yes so the great danger is mm. that you know you find that life partner you find that girlfriend mm. or boyfriend yeah. or husband or wife mm. but you're still not happy yes and that's when that's when i think you're uh, you know you're really in trouble mm. 